Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived back at Moto Stoke. Today, we're going to make our way to Moto Stoke Stadium as we are ready to take on our third gym challenge. Slow moving, aren't you, Rodri? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. Bam, man, a fire kaboo is just what you would expect. Nearly got burned in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, he was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Rodri. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire, too. Let's make our way inside of Moto Stoke Stadium and get ready to take on the Man of Fire. Hey, a gym challenge. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challenges since our leader, Kabu, has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge, our gym will ask you to change to your uniform first. You may find the Fire Gym's mission a bit different than others you faced. In you go! The Gym mission for the Fire Gym is this! Catching Pokemon to earn the most points! Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon, but you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do, and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission, yeah, start! Alright ladies and gentlemen, this mission has begun, and as you guys just heard, we are going to be catching Pokemon here. 4 points. We need 5 points to move on, 2 for a catch, one for defeating them and we're gonna be going up against an opponent here so we are not gonna be alone in the catching there's gonna be someone going after the same pokemon as us while we're doing it this is a lot of fun very different from other challenges that i've heard of but nonetheless i threw the first pokeball and gotcha vulpix was caught so there we have it we got ourselves a vulpix we're also gonna gain some xp and we are gonna get that data added to the pokedex that's Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. As each tail grows, its fur becomes more lustrous. When held, it feels slightly warm. Ah, oh, I feel like Vulpix would be such a nice Pokemon to have around. And there we go. Challenger Rodri claims two points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's two points for us. Let's get ready to do it again. I'm just going to keep chucking the Pokeballs as I feel like we are getting pretty lucky right now. And that is going to be a wild Sizzlipede. Let's see what we can do here against the Sizzlipede. Last time I asked you guys, if you ran your own gym, what type of gym would it be? Thank you guys for sharing all your comments. I always go through there and leave a little heart when I read them. So thank you guys so much for that. I got a lot of responses from you guys. I saw a lot of dragon type gym leaders. I see you, Dragon-type gym leaders, and I have to tell you guys that I would most likely be a Dragon-type gym leader as well, but I would mix it up a little bit. So it wouldn't only be Dragons, it would be like Dragons with a secondary type, like Dragon Electric or something of that sort. I really like Electric Pokemon as well, so I feel like those gyms would be a lot of fun to have. They'd be a little challenging. Now, we are going to have to weaken this Pokemon down. So let's do this. I'm going to go for the quick attack onto the Sislipede and see if we can get it down just a little bit. That's it. It's in the yellow. I might just defeat this one to tell you guys the truth and take the one point. So then we'll have one left and then I can just go and catch it. I think that sounds pretty good. So let's go for the quick attack. The Sislipede survived. What is going on, Sislipede? How is this happening, ladies and gentlemen? We're not taking too much damage, though, so let's go ahead and wrap this battle up. What? This Pokemon keeps avoiding the attack. This is getting a little wild up in here, ladies and gentlemen. It is pretty cool that it's a bit of a competition to catch these Pokemon. Definitely different than other gyms I've been to. We took down the Sislipede, though, so we're moving on through. Savitar grew to level 25. All our Pokemon are looking very, very strong. Challenger Rodri claims... One point! There we go. We claimed another point. Let's make our way over here and wish me some luck, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a Litwick. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Gym Trainer Chaka 
is out here this time around. I am going to throw a Great Ball. It's only level 25, so let's hope that we can catch this Pokemon. If our boy Hop was able to beat this gym mission, then we gotta beat it too, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up in here. Sislipede is gonna be going for the bite. And Litwick flinched. Okay, that's really good. If the Sislipede is gonna be going for the bite and doing that damage for us on the fire ghost type Pokemon, then I'm gonna be chucking the Great Ball in hopes that we get the two points. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gotcha, Litwick was caught. We are doing very well here during this gym mission. Bugs grew to 27. Litwick's data will be added to the Pokedex. We're gonna send it straight to the PC as we are ready to keep on going. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Upwards and onwards, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready for our third gym challenge. I'm going to go ahead and switch things up. We're going to put Donatello up in front. The rest of our Pokemon are pretty good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling ready. And our Pokemon are as well. So let's go ahead and use that Super Potion on Bugs. It is time for us to take on the third gym leader of the Galar region. Welcome! I am Kabu, the Fire-type Gym Leader. The fact that you are here means you bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's Water-types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rodri versus Gym Leader Kabu. It is time to take on Kabu and his fire type squad. Kabu's gonna open up with a nine tails. We have Donatello, our water rock type up in front. We also have our Dynamax band ready to go. So I hope you guys are pumped up, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna open up with the Dynamax and then I'm gonna go for a water type move. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that ball ready, Donatello. This one's for you, my friend! And there we go, baby! We got a big Donatello coming out. This battle is on its way. Surely, we will be the winners here. Ninetales is going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, so we are going to be burned. Nonetheless, we're going to drop our Max Geyser. There is no way this Ninetales stands up to that. That's going to be super effective. And wow, it actually did stand up to it. Are you serious? Okay. But would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? It is starting to rain. That is huge for us. That is definitely going to help us out. So I'm going to go for the max rockfall here just to see how much damage it does as well. It looks like we avoided the attack. So there we go. The max rockfall is also going to be super effective on these fire type Pokemon. So we have a big advantage here with Donatello. And there we go. Nine Tails is down. That is the first of Kabu's Pokemon. A sandstorm has started kicking up. We have one more turn left here with Donatello. So we got to hope for a KO, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what Pokemon is going to be coming out next. Kabu is going to send out an Arcanine. I can't wait. Whoa. I love seeing Arcanines. I really, really like Arcanine. I have to tell you guys, Arcanine would probably be my favorite Fire-type Pokemon alongside Charizard because I really like Charizard a lot of you guys have been telling me get a Charizard and I'm keeping an eye out for one I'm a big fan of Charmander of Charmeleon I've been a big fan of Pokemon since I was a kid so I grew up with those Pokemon and getting to use them on my team is always a lot of fun the Arcanine is hanging in there ladies and gentlemen 
We are gonna be done. That's it. Donatello is back to normal. Good work, Donatello. We almost took down two of Kabu's Pokemon there in full. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. The Sandstorm is about to take down this Arcanine here. So we can hang in there to this bite. We should be okay. I am gonna go for the Rock Tomb. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Arcanine is down. And we are moving on through. That's what I'm talking about. Donatello is gonna gain some XP. Let's see what the final Pokemon is going to be. Sentis Scorch is going to be coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Why that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu? There still must be a path to victory. Kabu has sent out his Dynamax Pokemon, Sentis Scorch. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hang in here. I'm going to go for the Rock Tomb. Burn bright, Sentis Scorch. Let Gigantamax change his size and your form. Would you look at that Pokemon? It is huge. A lot of you guys have been telling me too that there are a lot of Zelda references in this game. I have to agree with you. We just saw the Water Temple was pretty nuts. It was literally the Water Temple from Majora's Mask. Pressure switch is going up and down. And now we're going up against a Fire Dragon. I have to tell you guys this Fire Dragon is reminiscent of the Fire Temple. If you guys have ever played through Ocarina of Time, when you get there with the Megaton Hammer, you gotta fight Volvagia, and that mother fudger is a fire dragon. So I gotta tell you guys, there's gotta be some correlation here, right? There's a lot of similarities. It makes a lot of sense that when Pokemon first goes 3D, it would have little Easter eggs to Ocarina of Time, which was the first Zelda game that went 3D. I'm gonna go for the quick attack here. I'm just kind of waiting out the Sentis Scorch's Dynamax. What the fudge is that move? I'm really digging that move though. It's really cool. It's like a Chinese dragon. It reminds me a little bit of the Chinese New Year. I don't know if that was on purpose, but I like it a lot. The Sandstorm has subsided, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for the double kick. We are faster than the Sentis Scorch, which is really good. But we are doing a whole lot to this a big monster. All right, we're hanging in here. Flames always burn upwards, and so we'll always aim to go higher. You understand, don't you? Oh, man, the G-Max? Yeah, we're not tanking out the G-Max. That is it. But I'm pretty sure that was also the three turns. So the three turns are up. Now it is showtime. We're going to have ourselves a fair battle. Because all the Dynamaxing is out the way, my friends. And there we go. Just a normal little Fire-type Pokemon. I'm going to go for the Spark here. Tiny, let's do it, baby. And there we go, Tiny cleaning up. We hit a crit. I'm enjoying using Tiny a whole lot, guys. This Pokemon is fantastic. Let's wrap this battle up. Tiny, go for the Spark. Sentis Scorch has gone down, and there we have it. We've done it. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. Raven Grew to level 29. We defeated Gym Leader Kabu. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. We got 43.20 for winning. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the Gym Challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. Thank you, Kabu. With that, we've obtained our third out of eight badges here in the Galar region. We got five more to go. We can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture, and it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Rodri! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones, but still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat! 
Challenger Rodri, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass water and fire gems. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. We will tag TM38, Willow Lewis. And thank you, my man. Take one of our uniforms, the same design as Kabu himself wears. And we got ourselves the fire uniform as well. Then you're proving your skill well enough to try your hand against the gems that await you. Start in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves! You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be making our way back to the wild area as we are ready to head on to our next city. Hurry it up, Rodri! Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to gather these three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Whoa! We made it! Thank goodness for flying taxis! Rodri! Oh, congratulations! It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu! Not a lot of gym challenges were able to get a gym badge from Kabu! We'd like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support! So allow me to send you out with a proper sporty chant. Hustle! 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 Hop! You can do it! You can do it! Rodri! The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all! We're gonna keep winning! We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all! Come on, Rodri! Let's head for Hammerlock! Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend! I've come back to you even stronger than before! Rodri, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the Tale of My Legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hoppy can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! More like you don't even you know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest and my bro's the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Ryder to battle in Galarmine number two and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Rodri and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this well in my real skills in battle. So see you later, Rodri. Let's meet up at Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Sure thing, Hop. We are off to Hammerlock, my friends. We are back here in the wild area. We can now also ride our bike around the wild area, which is really cool. This place is what reminds me of Terminal Field the most. We made it to North Lake Mylock. In the wild area, this guy over here, you'll be amazed after crossing the bridge. What's so amazing, the Pokemon that live on the other side, they're so strong. You probably won't be able to catch them unless you have several gym badges, though. Right about that. So let's go ahead and cross on through. We now have three gym badges. We made it to the Motostoke Riverbank Wild Area. That's a Snorlax. Whoa, this is so cool. Let's just keep riding our bike around here. See what kind of Pokemon we're going to find. It's always nice to look around the wild area. You gotta take in the sights, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes, it's not about the destination, but the journey. You know what I'm talking about? We made it to the bridge field here in the wild area. Yeah, I'm just running on through here. There's some line noons, Galarian line noons. I see a little house over there to the right. Whoa, this is awesome. Let me go ahead and check this little house out. Once in a while, you'll find a little something around here. 
Oh, and look, there's also some of these guys over here. Let's talk to them. Hey, y'all, right? We two brothers are known as the Digging Duo. We're digging up treasure here, see? You got a fair bit of luck finding us here. If you'd like to spot us some Watts, we'll dig you up some handy treasures for your adventure. So if you give them Watts, they'll go digging around for you. And they will get you whatever it is that you want, my friends. We've made it to the Pokemon Nursery. Okay, so they have another nursery here. Hello, this here's the wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just as capable as the nursery on Route 5. Don't you worry about a thing. We're not going to be leaving any Pokemon with you guys today, but it is good to know that they have a nursery. This guy said there's a fantastic little game called the Rotom Rally that I would just love to see you participate in. What would you like to do? What is the Rotom Rally? East Lake Axwell, 80 seconds. The meetup spot, 120 seconds. Okay, so it's a little bit of a race here. If you have yourselves a bike, you can go on a race. We're not going to do that right now. I'm not really bothering with the watch at the moment. I'm just going to continue through. I'm having a lot of fun going from city to city. I feel like that's what I want to do. Progress through the story. So we're going to do just that. This was a really big part of the wild area as well. Whoa, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought? There's Pokemon from every region around here. We've made it to the Dusty Bowl wild area. How do I get up in that castle exactly? That is the question that we are trying to answer. This is so awesome. Giant's Mirror, the wild area. I just love riding around on my bicycle. It's almost like riding on Ponyta and going through Termina Field. We made it to the Dusty Bowl wild area and we are, ooh, awesome. The Hammerlock Hills as well. Whoa, would you look at that Corviknight? That Pokemon is huge. All right, so we're gonna loop back around and we have officially made it to the next city. This is a terrifying looking city. There's like a dragon. Ah, uh, gym challenge, allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he can look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Excuse you, Bead. We are ready to make our way into the next town. We have arrived at Hammerlock. Would you guys look at this place? It is really, really nice. I'm digging the design of this one a lot. Before we continue on, I'm gonna make my way inside of the Pokemon Center. How's it going, Miss Joy? You know, roses are red, violets are blue, but if there's one thing that don't change, is my feelings for you. You know what I'm talking about, Nurse Joy? Thank you so much, thank you so much. We appreciate you healing up our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and make our way back out of here and check it out. There's a little gathering. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bean. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, I'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion and those trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. Takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger B, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? I hope you were listening, Rodri. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to Wishing Stars just making your Pokemon a giant cell. They hold far more energy than that. You're curious, you head to the stadium. 
In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Glar region gets its energy. So, Rose wants us to head inside of the stadium. Before we do that, we're going to take a look around this place and see what's going on in Hammerlock. Welcome to the ancient city of Hammerlock, a city of great history, living and thriving within castle walls that date back to the Middle Ages. No wonder I'm getting that medieval vibe. They had this place up and running since the olden days, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought? We got ourselves a Sooth Bell here. Always good to talk to some of the people in town. Once in a while, you'll find something good. Not all the time. You wonder if your Pokemon have really been giving it their best effort? I think our Pokemon have been giving it their best effort. I am not even worried one bit. So let's see what else there is going on here outside of the castle walls. This is a huge town. There's a lot going on here. What is this place? Oh, is this the train station? Okay, that makes sense. And here's Team Yell. They're cheering for Marnie. So we're not allowed to go in that direction just yet. Also, it's super neat that our bike can actually go upstairs. I wonder how strong our guy is that he can do that. They say the Galar region has lots of old buildings. It's a stone statue of a Pokeball. There's a rumor that if you touch it, you'll have better luck catching Pokemon. Okay, that is quite interesting. Hello there, you look like someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy and I've written him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver for me? Sure. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name's Paula Hira. This letter I want you to deliver. We obtain an old letter. All right, Paula, where's your dude? Deliver it to Frank for me, won't you? Frank and Balan Leia. That's who you want. I have no idea what the fudge Balan Leia is, but we might end up there eventually. So we're going to help out everybody that we can. We're going to tell them, yeah, sure thing. We'll take your letter. We'll deliver it. So that seems to be about it here on the right side. Now let's go check out the left side of the castle. See what else they got going up in here before we head inside of the stadium. I'm not going to rush into it. And whoa. Whoa. They got some new outfits. You know I got to stop by and check them out. All right. So we're here in the boutique. And let's see what they got going on here in the boutique. They got the faded sweatshirt that's purple. I got to tell you guys, I like that one. I like that one. I'm hoping they got something else, though. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Let's keep on going. Ooh, they have really nice, like, track suits. I'm digging it. They don't have a purple one, though. The purple one would have to be the psychic type. So that is what we have to keep an eye out for. All these psychic type pants and all the psychic type shorts and all the different stuff oh would you look at that though they now have sports caps as well so we don't have to keep wearing the beanie we can go with something like this for now i like that the bucket hat looks kind of cool so i'm gonna go ahead and equip it yes we are and that is it for now we are done shopping ladies and gentlemen yes we are let's get out of here you guys also told me that i gotta come in here to change our outfit the one that we've been using for our sports so here we go. This is the Psychic Sport outfit. What the fudge? How do we equip it like under us? Okay. Where is the Sports Challenge outfit? Challenger uniform. Here we go. So I want to have the Psychic uniform equipped for our challenges, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we'll go with this look, I suppose. Would we like to update our lead card? No, we're good for now. Is that going to... It actually has me wearing this outfit. Okay, well, that's not what I'm going for. Are you... All right, how do I take... Oh, my mother fudger, ladies and gentlemen. So, the Sport Top Challenger Kit. I want the Psychic Type Kit, but then we're going to have to put everything else on top of it. So, let's go ahead and do just that yet again. All right, loose Sport Jacket. I got this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to put everything back on. Yeah, my loose purple top. We're going to put on our uh, shorts again. Not the shorts. We're going to put on our skinny trousers. Ooh, those actually look pretty decent right now. And we have one glove on, which I'm really digging. Let's go with this look. And we are going to update our lead card. I'm really liking this right now, actually. So we got some purple shoes, a purple look, and we have one glove on our hand like Leon. So that's a nice little upgrade. They also have something else over here. Let's go ahead inside and check it out. Oh, it's a cafe. Okay, well, I don't need anything right now from the cafe. And they also have themselves a barber shop up in here. So if you guys are looking for a haircut, you already know where it is. You gotta go. 
So aside from that, let's see what else there is over here. We got ourselves a little Pokeball. That is going to be two Hyper Potions. So now we finally have some Hyper Potions in the mix, it looks like. And this has took us to the Pokemon Center. And what is this place? You need permission to enter the vault here in Hammerlock. They have a vault up in Hammerlock? Okay, so that is it. We've explored all of Hammerlock. And we are ready to make our way to the stadium. Since it looks like the team over here is going to be preventing us from going in. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They're called Battle Combo Moves. Sure, we'll learn one. Which Pokemon should learn my move? We're good then. Yeah, you know, thanks for the tip. If you guys want some different battle moves, you know where it is. You got to go. For now, we got to go to the Pokemon Stadium. We took a look around Hammerlock, which so far has to be one of my favorite cities. I really like the medieval look. I'm all about that. Let's go ahead and make our way inside of the castle. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Whoa. See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives inside you require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives while harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Elena decides to give me another earful. Rodri, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Let's head to a Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Ah, so there we have it. Now we can make our way to the vault. Let's make our way towards Route 6 then, and head for the vault. I wonder what's gonna be at the vault. Whoa, it's our old friend Leon! Rodri, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop? Did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee! Might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle? Yeah, he lost to that challenger bead. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps, but then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You gotta think on why it was you lost though. You know, that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now if only I could remember we would Che to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Rayhan while you're here, Rodri. He's the greatest rival I've got and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault, if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. So it's Rayhan who we're going to be meeting at the vault. So let's go ahead and make our way over there then and see what's going on. What they got at the vault? Some treasure? I mean, this is medieval times. So what do they got a little bit of gold over here to give us? We got two X attacks. Let's go ahead and make our way in. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? All right, Rodri. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone want to challenge the mighty ring and has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. We got Ray Hand's lead card. Thanks, man. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Okay, let's make our way up the stairs then. We need permission if we want to enter the vault. We got all the permission we need, my friend. Let's head inside. Okay, so there's an outside portion of this as well. You would think that they wouldn't let the vault be open to the outside. But what do I know about security? We got TM29 Charm. It's a pretty good TM. 
They got a little gate over here as well. We can't keep going up, so we just gotta go inside of the vault. Oh, look, it's Sonia! Oh, yeah, yeah! Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasure tapestries that can tell us of Galah's history! She said, The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs, the two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youths being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young young challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? I'd say that there's two heroes. Bang on! The statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero. No matter how you slice it, but here we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think we've got some theories now. I'm gonna research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Thanks for the two revives. So there we have it. If you look at the tapestry, it tells a story of two youths who looks like they stood up to the darkness, were helped by the sword and the shield, and then they prospered? Interesting. Kind of reminds me of us and Hop. So what exactly could be going on? Did something happen with the lore? Did someone change the history behind it? Is there more to the story? The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if you've got any money, here, it'll have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Rodri, your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow on side. Okay, well, thank you so much, Rayhan. We appreciate that. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We heard here first from Rayhan what it is that we got to do. And we are ready to make our way on out. Head to stow on side next. And that's just what we're going to do. We're back here on Route 6. Hope you guys are ready. We're going to have some challenges coming up. Whoa, what's going on, Team Yell? What a cute silly cobra! Just look at those adorable eyes! So I tell anybody as a team to yell to make sure silly cobra gets a nice peaceful sleep! Hello there, I promise not to wake a Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure! Oh, hey, Roger, you're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. No, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we particularly not for the kids wearing the challenge band. For you stomp around, see the Cobra's show to wake up. Right. What do you say, Roger? If we don't get past it, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge. Stow on side. Let's do it. Y yeah, that's the spirit. And you're away, noisy. You don't want to wake up Silly Cobra and they'll do your sweat. Kids, these days, we got no choice. We got to send you back. So, for the sake of Silly Cobra. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri and Hot versus Team Yell. So, let's go ahead and take on Team Yell once again. Team Yell is going to open up with a stunky. And these guys really don't know how to quiet down. They're always being loud. They're always causing trouble. I do have Donatello up in front. The faint is going to be coming out. And we're going to be A-OK -okay here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to drop the Rock Tomb, and that should do a good bit of damage here onto the Stunky. One more Rock Tomb should just about do it. Team Yell, what's going on? They're always out here just blocking paths. But where is Marnie? I haven't seen Marnie since Moto Stoke. So who are they cheering for? We got Donatello to 26. Savitar grew to 26. Next is going to be a Line Noon coming out. And I'm going to give Donatello... A little bit of experience in battling. That line noon is level 30. Well, mother fudger, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be about that time that we are going to have to train up our Pokemon. So I'll definitely be doing a little bit of grinding off screen next time in preparation for the next gym. Since it looks like we are going to need to hit level 30 plus for it. The line noon is almost down. Here comes that Hone Claws. One more attack should just about do it. So let's go ahead and wrap this battle up. Let's go for the Rock Tomb Donatello. 
And let's keep moving on through. The line noon is down, ladies and gents. So far, so good. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. Tiny Grudel 28. We are not going to learn Charm. And we defeated the Team Yell Grunt. Blimey, I mean, your battles are too noisy. We got 2400 for winning. I think I'll leave this to you, Rodri. Keep up the pace. Whoa, what's going on, Hop? This isn't the usual Hop. I guess after Hop lost a bead, that must have been Hop's confidence as well. Just shot out the door. I mean, Hop, I don't know what you're doing, my friend, but you got to step it up. We're going Vince Galipard here. We got to stand up to the Fury Swipes, and we did. So I am going to drop that Rock Tomb, which is going to do a ton of damage. Rock Tomb is definitely one of my favorite moves as well. It is such a strong move. I really like Rock-type Pokemon. The Lipard is down, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it for Team Yell. Everybody's getting levels. Stripes on a Tello grew. Bugs grew. We defeated the Team Yell Grunt. Oh, why'd you have to be such a baller? We got 2,400 for winning. Silicobo, my way. Come after all that ruckus. There's no point. Let's stick around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these balls some kids hot out some other day. Rodri, you and Dreadnought were brilliant together. See, Bean really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. Don't get me wrong, I could take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was, and I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Rodri. Someone said, you're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. We got Opal's league card. Keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Thank you, mysterious old woman. We have made it to Route 6. This route seems like it's gonna be tough, so we're gonna have to be ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep running on through here. I am gonna take all this XP though, as we are gonna need it. All the battles that are coming up are getting a lot tougher, so it looks like our team could definitely use some leveling up. I'm gonna go ahead and run from this though, and we're gonna keep on trucking through. What is this, like a canyon or something? That's kinda what it looks like. Let's go up and onwards, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, I see that TM over there. What is this? I, I can't do anything here. What, a fishing spot? That's literally all there is here? They just put a fishing spot in that place. Now, if you guys remember... Oh, no. I just whistled the Pokemon. I'm running through here. Hey, check it out. Some doctors. So hopefully if we beat them, we can heal up. Okay, medical team, can you guys heal me up now or what? Are you serious? This medical team doesn't heal you up? Well, what kind of sort of a joke of a medical team is that, ladies and gentlemen? You tell me.
battles are definitely getting a little bit tougher here on this route. So we got to make sure we heal up our Pokemon. Make sure you guys are stocked up on supplies as well. Because it looks like you're definitely going to need them here coming up in this place. We got ourselves two rare bones. A rare bone that is extremely valuable for the study of Pokemon archaeology. Can be sold for a high price at shops. Now I'm going to go down here. You guys can see that there are a lot of traders coming up. So we're going to have to be prepared. Now is this going to loot me down to that TM I saw or what? Okay, there's some trainers here as well. What if I go down here? Okay, okay, okay. Now where the fudge did I see that TM at, my friends? Was it over here? Yeah! Okay, so we got ourselves TM30 Steel Wing. That is a TM that's going on. Alright, Steel Wing is a really good TM. I'm very glad that we were able to find it. We're going to have some battles coming up, though. Hope you guys are ready. Okay, let me go ahead and creep through here very, very quietly, and we're in the clear. There we go. There we go. I'm going to make my way back up, though, and we are going to keep going deeper down. So there's a couple different paths we can go, it looks like. There's a trainer here. We're going to have another TM coming up as well. Let's battle her real quick. I have to tell you guys, that pseudo Wudo was super difficult to take down. So be ready, because that Pokemon did so much damage to me. And we have officially made it. To... The town of Stoan Side, a vibrant town that has grown up around an ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye!